Hey, you got time for a beer? I know I do. Welcome to my show. My name's Jake. It's not Thursday, but I got a new beer here for you anyway. Don't forget, you can find me on Untapped YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram, all at tubajake underscore 69. Tell me your stories. I like to hear them. Um, I like to tell them. Uh, you can like, comment, and subscribe on all my things. Let's people, more people hear my stories. And yours, if you want to tell them. What we've got for you today is Party Dinosaur. Uh, this one's from Oozle Finch Brewing, or Oozle Finch Beers Blending. Uh, let's see, what else does this have in it? It's a sour ale with cacao, mint, banana, coconut, vanilla, and lactose. Um, it sounds like it's going to be very mm, milkshake-y. Uh, it's a very big beer, so I've got a very big glass for this. Uh, my sister picked this one up for me in... Uh, in the Czech Republic when she went to do some study abroad stuff there. So I have this. It's very nice. Um, and figured I'd be able to show it, show you what the beer looks like, and it'll be big enough to fit the whole thing in. Um, so let's get this started. I rolled it around a little bit before I started the video because it says you're supposed to. It should be kind of murky because, you know, lactose. It smells sour from here. Um, I'm not going to lie, it's a little bit lighter than what I was expecting it to be uh, with the cacao nibs and all that other stuff that's going into it. Uh, it's about as, as murky as I thought it would be, though, so that's good, I suppose. It's minty, but sour. It's weird. It's like uh, minty lemon kind of flavor. It would probably go really well with fish. It's strange. Um, is there any beer that this reminds me of? Uh, no. <laughs> I haven't had a whole lot of mint beers. Um, and uh, the sours, it reminds me a little bit of the, uh, the Oarsman, but with mint instead of with... Well, just being sour. It does per taste pretty good. It's refreshing. Be a really good one to have, like, while you're out and about. Mowing the lawn. Something like that. Would be nice. Um, Does this remind me of a story? Okay, so, anyway. Uh, Party Dinosaur is really what drew me to this beer. I bought it with an ex-girlfriend, and she liked being, like, dressing up as a dinosaur for uh, for her youth group things. But I figured this one was fitting for today, because today I just got back from um, the 100th anniversary of the Marching Chips. Um, there, there have been 100 iterations of the Central Michigan Marching Band, and... I was there for 9% of it, which is a bunch. So I went up and I played, and it was super fun. I marched in the parade, and that was fun. I went to the game, and that was fun seeing people, but, you know, we lost at homecoming. So not great fun, but fun. Lost by, like, a point. It was rough. Um, but got to see a big bunch of people. I did so much walking, so much walking, because uh, we did the parade, so and we couldn't find a spot in the buses so that we could get in the, on the buses, and then, so we walked to where the parade started. We walked in the parade, and then we couldn't find a spot to sit on the bus after the parade, so we walked back. And then we started the hard drinking. Although, it, it is pretty great. And people give you all kinds of stuff when you're in the band. Um, as, as an alumni, you can grab it. If it's offered. And I was offered a beer, which was great. I mean, it was Miller Lite, so... The best kind of beer is free beer. So, obviously, it was the best beer that I had that day. Because eight bucks for a beer at the stadium is expensive. But, yeah, it was a lot of fun. 
And then I woke up and realized I am old. I could feel it everywhere. And woke up and I was like, ugh, my everything hurts. Because, you know, I'm wearing a sousaphone, so my shoulder is killing me because it's a sousaphone. And that's where that sits. I walked like 25 miles, so there was that too. Long walks. Long walks. I, it probably really wasn't 25 miles, but it's a 20 minute 20 minute parade. You know, that's not true. We were we did that parade for an hour because it rang because we started at 11, started at 11 and then the bells were ringing. We got to the church where we stopped at and it was noon. So we walked pretty steadily for like an hour. And then we walked after that too. It was a long, long walk. It was fun though because the, there were people there that I knew well and got to talk with everybody. I don't know if you can tell, but my voice is a little bit different than it is normally. Probably a little bit lower if I had to guess. Because part of marching in the parade is doing all the cheers and stuff that go along with that. And growling those as loud as you possibly can is how you do that. Um, so my voice is pretty well gone. It was super fun. I would love to be around for that in another hundred years. Speaking of, um, one of my friends who was in the band with me, his father played in the band this year. His father is 85 years old and marched with the Marching Chips way back when. But he marched too. Well, he went out in the field and played. I don't know if he really marched all that much, using a walker and whatnot. Uh, it sounded like he had a blast. He was there. His grandchildren are there. His son. I mean, not all of his sons, because she was the only one that marched in the band at Central, but there it was pretty cool so party dinosaur anyway super old and partied out man it was so much fun but i could probably do that again in another year or so man that was rough but a good time totally worth it totally worth it not gonna lie this is a lot cleaner than what I was expecting it to be with all of the other junk that's in that that it says it's got in there bananas and cacao nibs and mint and all of that stuff it sounds like it's gonna be thick and it feels thick but it's refreshing this is good I wish I would have gotten another one just so that I could have another one later All right. Hopefully this is still going. Looks like it is. I've got a quote for you. It says, uh, this one is from Gwen Stefani. She said, after you make a few fool of yourself a few hundred times, you learn what works. So go out, make a fool of yourself. You have to keep doing it because eventually somebody's going to appreciate the kind of fool that you are. Yeah. Yeah, that's how I want to read that one. Don't forget, you can find me at tubajake underscore 69 uh, on Untapped, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so that more people can see. Uh, tell me your stories. I like to hear them. I like to tell them. Um, yeah. So, I'll see you next time. You got time for a beer.